What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video and if this is your first time checking out the channel thank you for tuning in. So in this video I'm going to be talking about a new updated way on how you can make the most amount of money. Although this video is meant for those who have made the legendary status you can still do it other ways. For example if you need people to help you with this method there is a link to a discord in the description we have 4,000 members in that community. Hopefully that will help you out. And finally, if this video becomes obsolete or a better way comes out, I will post about it on my channel and link it at the end of this video. If you don't see another video about money methods, you'll know this is the best way to make money. So with all of that out of the way, how about we get into the video? So for this method, it requires practically zero setup whatsoever. All you will need to do is find Duke who is situated inside every single tavern on the map. You will then need to go and have a look at the voyages Duke is offering. Once you are there, have a look for the Chest of Rage Legendary Voyage. That is what you'll need to get. Again, if you don't have it unlocked, you can use the Discord down in the description for a way to find some players. So for this method to be most effective, you're going to need everyone in your crew to get as many of those voyages as possible. Once you have them, place one down and vote for it, then you will find you are going to the Devil's Roar. So once you have done that, you're going to notice one of two islands are going to show up. It will either be Curse Water Shores or Scorched Park. It will never, under any situation, be anything more than one of those two islands. They are the only two islands that the first mission spawns on. And for this method, all you need is the first mission. So you will notice if you look at the map that pops up inside of your voyage table, there is going to be a few X marks the spot locations around one of those two islands. Now thankfully they are pretty small, so they're not too hard to find. Now you can choose to dig up all them if you want to, but the only one you need is the Chest of Rage. Once you have dug up and obtained the chest of rage all you will need to do is bring it on your ship and store it in a safe location then cancel the voyage and re-roll now nine times out of ten this next voyage is going to take you the opposite island of the island that you originally done the first quest on but don't worry they're really not too far away and from that point on honestly you'll just need to rinse and repeat the method you don't even have to finish the first quest if you manage to pull the chest of rage off of the first dig all that matters is you get the chest of rage out of the sand and onto your boat. Anything else after that is only bonus extras. But with that being said, sometimes it's worth going to dig the extra places just because you don't know what you're going to find. So once you have repeated this method a few times over, you will notice that you will start to run out of voyages and you won't have any left. Now you'll need to make your way south down to Morrow's Peak Outpost. This is really not too far away from any of the two islands, making it extremely viable and easy to redo this method as long as you need to. So you may be thinking why do you need to go to the effort to get the chest of rage and not do anything else that is because the chest of rage is the highest selling item in the game excluding the athena's chests and the box of wanderer's secrets and they also happen to be the most accessible chest in the game with this though does come the fact that it is a cursed chest and it can release fire so keeping it in a safe spot for this whole method is essential now not only are these chests the most expensive in the game you can also sell them at the Reaper's Hideout for an even bigger reward, although you will lack the reputation. So in conclusion, at the time of recording this video, it is without a doubt, hands down, the absolute best money-making method in the Sea of Thieves world. As I mentioned earlier, if this video does become outdated, I will post about it at the end of the video and or in the description. And also remember, if you don't have a crew to do this with, or you don't know anyone who is of legendary status, go down to the description and join the Discord. I guarantee you will find a legend in there that will be willing to help you. Alright, hopefully you enjoyed this video or learned something new. If you'd like to support my channel and the work that I create, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell just below this video. Alternatively, feel free to leave a like and leave a comment to show your support. I try my best to read every single comment. If you head down to the description of this video, you're going to find a few links that may interest you. First of all, I have a Discord link. If you'd like to join my community, feel free to click on that and make yourself at home. I also have my Twitch. Twitter and Instagram linked down below if you'd like to support me there. And finally, there is also a Patreon link if you are interested. So anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.